Well, looks like it'll be a hot time in the old town tonight. Hey, what's up, my peoples? MGO here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the SXS Hot Flame. So here we are, and there he is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So at the front here, we have a nice image of Hot Flame in his robot mode, in his vehicle mode. And we have Hot Flame, and Hot Flame, and the Hot Flame. And on the bottom, you have Warning! Please don't eat anything in this box. That can be very bad for you. And on the back of the box, you have Hot Flame and Hot Flame, Muscle, Gun, Robot Mode, Vehicle Mode, and that's basically it for the packaging. And also included in the box is the collector's card with another image there of Hot Flame. And on the back you have tech specs if that interests you. Hooray for cards. So moving right along, here we have Hot Flame, which is SXS's take on an IDW Rodimus. Another IDW Rodimus, that's right. I was complaining for the longest time that somebody needs to make an IDW Rodimus already. And now we have two! Ah, ah, ah. Uh, anyway, <laughs> but here he is in his vehicle mode, and um, I will say I'm not the biggest fan of his vehicle mode. I don't really care for it. It just, I don't know. It doesn't, it, it doesn't work for me. It doesn't really work for me, but we're getting close here. So we can take a look at the details. You do have some silver right there, as well as some silver details right up top here. And of course, you have the typical red and yellow color scheme that is Hot Rod or Rodimus. You have the transparent windshield right there. You got the wheels with some pink accents in there. So they look all glowy glowy. And you got the tailpipes done in silver as well. You got the rear spoiler going on the back. You do have some tail lights. There's the underside. And it does roll as rolling things should. Hooray for rolling. And yeah, but I don't know. I'm just, I'm not the biggest fan of how this looks, but hey, it is what it is. Now for comparison, here it is with SXS's overclocking. They're not IDW blur. Just so you can see how they scale with one another. And here he is with Mastermind Creations, not IDW Rodimus. And I like this one a lot better. As far as the vehicle mode goes, Mastermind is definitely the winner because this alt mode looks a lot more cohesive and solid, and this does not. <laughs> to me, anyway, I, I think Mastermind definitely has the, uh, the, the better car mode here, in my opinion, anyway. So, uh, yeah, I have ouch. Now he does include a gun, which is just cast all in black, but nicely detailed. You can store this on the vehicle mode. You just flip up the handle there, and you just use that tab right there, and it just plugs right into the top. So you can have that going on if you wish. He does also include his uh, his little buzzsaw weapon, his pizza cutter, which is done in a transparent blue. It can spin pretty well. Um, if you want to, you can plug that. On top, too, if you want to. It's, it's a thing. It's a thing you can do. There you go. You can do that. Why not? Dare I say why not? It's a thing you can do. But you have that. There are some other accessories, but we'll get to those when we get to robot mode. Now let's get down to transformation, shall we? Let's. So first thing we're going to do is we're just going to take these little side panels here and just bring those out. And you want to come under here. And you just want to wiggle the arms off of that tub. Then just bring the arm back. You want to take the section here and just rotate it around. Hey, you focus camera. Hey, hey. Just bring that around. Then just take the pipes and just compress them down. Then you take the hand and bring it up. And so there you go. Same thing on the other side. Just wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Bring that out. Swing that around, compress those pipes, bring the hand out, and there you go. So you want to bring the arms out just to get them out of the way, and we can continue on. So you want to come back here and just take this panel and just bring that up. You want to come up to the front here, and you want to raise up this little silver piece because that tabs into the front right there. And you want to come back here 
and this panel which will be his crotch plate just tabs into his uh his legs here so you want to untab that and now you can split the legs and bring them out to the side a lot of a lot of squeaky joints on this toy. <laughs> You'll hear a lot more of that in a bit. And this is all just gonna flop around. We'll deal with that in a bit. But for now, I'm gonna take this section here and we're going to raise this up. This bit back here with the spoiler is on a double hinge. So you want to bring this up like that and then rotate this around like so. You can take this windshield and bring this in. And you want this section here to go over this section so it kind of helps if you kind of just swing this around from the side like that as you're pushing it up on that double hinge you see everything sits flush there that's just flush in there so you just want to leave that like that for now so now you want to just bring this panel up which will allow you to bring this whole assembly down like that and at this point now we are going to work on the shoulders so the shoulders as you can see are just tabbed into the sides you want to bring them out to untab them and then they will swing around like that at this point now we can take his crotchial region here and just bring that down and now we can take this assembly here in car mode it sits like this so you just want to bring this up so it sits together so the silver piece gets folded in and you just want to bring all this down and you have two tabs right here that will go into the two slots right there just bring all that down and have all that sitting in there and once you do that the shoulders will just tab in right up in there make sure you clear this little back piece here let's bring those shoulders that one went in there without me even doing anything thank you you're so helpful but there you go so the shoulders just tab in right there like that. So once you do that, we can take his head and turn it around. This piece just comes down to form his shoulders like that. And now you just bring the chest piece in. You got four tabs, you got four slots. Just line all that up and push that in like so. Oops, his shoulder. Meh, meh, meh. The shoulder came undone. How dare you? How dare you? There you go. Everything stay where you're supposed to stay, man. Come on now. There you go. Let's get everything tabbed in there on the chest. Like that. And there you go. And now he's... Go team! Anyway. <laughs> he's, a, he's a cheerleader now. Anyway. You take his crotch panel here and just bring that up. Then you just bring the arms forward and down, rotate them at the thigh, and now we will work on his legs here. So you just take this panel and you just bring that in. This right here is clipped into the side of the wheel, so you want to unclip that. Just bring that up, that'll tab in there. And the foot itself is also tabbed into the wheel right there, so just undo that. Come on. There you go. Just undo that like that. So now you're going to take the wheel and rotate it. So this bit here, so the screw is basically facing outward. And then you're just going to take this and collapse it in. It's on double hinge. So you just want to push that in like so. And you'll see this bit right here will go into that little notch right there. And that'll be its final resting place. Then you just bring that down. That'll tab in. So now you want to take the foot and you just want to straighten out this hinge right here. So you just straighten that out like that rotate the foot around kind of bring that back there against the wheel this little silver piece you bring up then you take the heel flip that out and this will just rest right in that notch right there to hold everything secure and you can just straighten out the leg there squeaky squeaky and they have a leg all done Go team! Now he's ice skating. Yo! Anyway, so now we'll do the same thing <laughs> on the other leg. Rodimus has many skills, apparently. Anyway, <clears throat> so just bring that up and just bring that up like that. Untab the foot, rotate that, just compress this in. So it sits where it's supposed to. 
close that back up just straighten out that foot right there the hinge on this side is a little tighter come on come on there you go spin that around bring that up bring back the heel have everything just sit where it's supposed to Boop. right there straighten out that leg on that squeaky hinge and there you go and now he's like i am rodimus worship me anyway, and just turn his shoulders around that's really squeaky right there and then you just come to the back here and his little wings just boop just come down right there a little bit if you want to and they're on hinges so you can angle this how you want and i think we're done are we done yes we're done we we're done and there we have hot flame in his robot mode and he looks quite quite good i think sxs did a a good job with this figure i think he's really really nicely done he's, you know, it's definitely a it's definitely idw rodimus no ifs ands or buts about it so let's get in close here not on his belly but on his noggin there's his noggin yeah nicely done head sculpting does have some blue light piping there it kind of works you really have to get a lot of light in there to really get those eyes to glow but you say they kind of work they kind of work but nicely done with the yellow a little bit of white in there uh the yellow on his shoulders is a little bit on the sloppy side but that's all right nice yellow chest does have the red with the uh with the lighter red around his waist there but overall a very nice design very slim very slender nice silver and red going on in there to the feet um it's a very clean transformation i mean it's 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 an involved transformation but a very clean transformation i mean he has like no backpack except for just the wings back there i mean everything just cleans up wonderfully it's just a it's a super clean transformation so it's really nice like everything just goes somewhere and that's really awesome so yeah yeah how that's now articulation wise the head can rotate he can look up he can look down the arms can do a full 360 on a very squeaky joint <laughs> arms can move out you do have rotation at the bicep you do have a double jointed elbow due to transformation so you have full range of movement there uh, you do have rotation at the wrist uh his thumb is the only thing that's articulated here his thumb can move in and out to open and close the hand you also have that transformation hinge in there that allows his hand to move inward like that he does have waist rotation although that's pretty much as far as it is allowed to go which is you know that's enough legs can move forward that far backward that far outward he can do the full splits he does have thigh rotation 90 degrees of bend at the knee very squeaky and the feet are on a ball joint up in here so they can move up they can move down and you get some tiltage as well as rotation and you could move that heel around if you need it to necessitate any posing you may want to do and again the wings are on a hinge there so you can angle these back forward whatever you want to do so he is pretty poseable so there you are have that now he can hold his weapons kinda that's the one major flaw of this toy is that he really doesn't hold his weapons well and that's pretty much due to the design of the hand so you open his thumb up here and you can put the gun in his hand and it's weird too because there's this there's this tab here on the side which i was thinking oh i guess maybe that goes into the slot right here but that's just the opening that's just that's just a gap between the hinge and the hand itself but i thought oh, okay maybe maybe that tabs in there though and no that doesn't work at all and i mean he can hold the gun but it is not a firm grip by any means you can see i'm just wiggling him around and it falls right out of his hand so he does not have a solid grip, unfortunately. You know, I just, it just, 
He can hold it, just don't move him after you put the gun in his hand. There you go. Turn him slowly. There you go. He's holding his gun. Oh, he dropped it. Yeah. That's the major flaw of this toy is it really cannot hold the weapons. Um, you can give him the buzzsaw too if you want to. He does hold that a bit better, but not by much. You can give him his pizza cutter if you wish. He actually does hold that a bit better. So you got that going on. Um, he does also include two swords because, you know, swords. And the blade is done in a nice silver. So you can give him the swords. The swords. He holds pretty well. A little bit better. Seems like the gun is the only thing he doesn't really hold that well. The other weapons, you know, yeah, he actually has a pretty good grip on the sword. Just the gun. He can't hold the gun. He can hold everything else, but just not the gun, unfortunately. But you have two swords. And one cool thing is you can actually connect the swords together at the handle here and make a double-bladed sword so you can get all Darth Maul on people if you want to. So that's pretty cool. So you have that option. And the last accessories that are included are uh, some optional faces or optional mouths, maybe, rather. But uh, you can see on him now is just kind of a, you know, just serious, stern face. But he does also have a smiling mouth there. He's smiling, he's happy, because he's the captain. And you have a grrr face going on right there. And the faces are pretty easy to swap out. You just kind of tilt his head up, just get under his chin there, and you just pop that off. And we'll give him the smiling face here. So you just make sure you have everything lined up. Which I don't. I don't have everything lined up. Oh no. Oh no. Oh dear. Oh, oh dear. Oh dear. Oh, oh dear. Oh, oh dear. Oh dear. Come on. Work with me, Rodimus. Come on. Be the co captain. Be the co captain of my heart. <laughs> ah. They swap out with the greatest of ease. Greatest of ease. No, you know what? I, it's funny because I never really had a problem doing this. But of course, when the camera's on. It's, I'm going to do this off camera real quick. I will be right back. There it is. See, when the camera is on, things just don't want to work for me. Never had a problem with it until the camera turns on. That's that's just, that's my life. But there he is. See, he's smiling. Yay. He's happy. He's the captain. So, there you go. Ah, so, there you have that. And now for comparison. Here he is with SXS's Not Blur. So you can see how they scale with one another. So you got that going on. Uh, here he is with his co-captain. Here he is with Mastermind Creations, IDW Megatron. Just so you can see how they look together. And here he is with Mastermind's IDW Rodimus. So you can see how they look together. Now, I know people are going to ask me, which one do you like better? And honestly, I I don't know. I like them both. I really like them both. Um, vehicle mode, I definitely like the Mastermind version better. It, it just has the better looking vehicle mode overall. Um, I really don't like the vehicle mode on the SXS version. Um, but robot mode wise, I like them both. They, they both work for me. I mean, they both look like IDW Rodimus from the comic books because sometimes they drew him a little more bulky and sometimes they drew him a little more, you know, slender. And so they both look the way he looks in the comic books. So it really just boils down to, you know, which look for IDW Rodimus do you prefer? Do you like the kind of bulkier look or do you like the slim look? You know, that's really what it comes down to. Now, the SXS version, as I said before, definitely has, uh, you know, the, the cleaner transformation. I mean, he basically has, like, no junk hanging off of him. It's, you know, it's all just compresses and compacts very, very well. Whereas, you know, the Mastermind version, you know, he, he does have a backpack going on and, you know, these things hanging off the back of his legs. Um, which I don't mind, but he does have the cleaner transformation. The, the SXS version does have the cleaner transformation. And a bit more of an involved transformation, whereas the Mastermind version does have a simpler transformation, which I do like. 
Hot Flame is a little on the fiddly side, but the payoff is worth it because, you know, like I said, everything just comes together nice and cleanly. So, he's fiddly, but it's, it's, uh, the, the payoff is worth it. So at the end of the day, it just boils down to what do you want out of your IDW Rodimus? Because now you have options. So there you go. So that's pretty much it for Hot Flame. There, a uh, very nicely done figure. I dig him. I very much dig him. So. Yeah, you go. So if you would like this or any of SXS's other offerings, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There will be a link in the description down below, so check that out. You can also check out my third-party Transformers playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below, so check that out as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the SXS Hot Flame, and this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be a geek, be proud. Palm in your face! Alright, why am I doing this? Because I'm the captain, and you have to do whatever the captain says. And if the captain tells you to give him a piggyback ride, then you give him a piggyback ride. Okay, but we're co-captains. So does that mean you can give me a piggyback ride? What are you, crazy? I'm not giving you a piggyback ride. Why not? Captain's prerogative. I don't have to do anything I don't want to. Arrgh.